I'm Chris Capra. I have a cooking show on PBS called Easy Way Gourmet with Chris Capra. But now I'm on YouTube and I'm brought to you by nobody. No commercials. No frills. I'm just here to teach you how to cook for free. You don't have to buy a cookbook, a pot, and a pan, or a Nabisco cracker. Okay, today I want to show you how to make a chicken Caesar. And this is a recipe that my dad found in a uh, restaurant that used to be next to Paramount Studios. We used to always go to it, and, and they always had great Caesar salad. They made it right at your table. It was really fun. First thing we have to do is learn how to marinate the chicken. So I'm going to make enough marinade here for about five or six uh, skinless chicken breasts. That's a scant two-thirds cup of olive oil, pure olive oil, not um, extra virgin. This is a quarter of a cup of white wine. Okay. We're going to use a whole lemon in this. I had a half left over from another recipe I was making. And I have this very tiny, tiny, teeny lemon here. So I might have to use it all because you want this to be really lemony and garlicky. Oh, that was a real spritzer. I think I can just leave it at that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put in two, uh, that's about uh, two, uh, cloves of chopped garlic. You know I always keep it at hand. So, and we have some salt. Salt, good amount of salt. And about a teaspoon, a little bit more, a generous teaspoon of dried oregano. Okay. Now you can use this marinade on a lot of stuff. It just happens to go good. It plumps up this chicken. It makes it really good. I don't pound these chicken breasts because I want them to be really plump so I can cut them and spread them across and then, I've washed this already, you put that in there, and you put a lot of chicken breasts in this amount. And uh, most of the time I put mine into a baggie, so that when I put it in the fridge, I just do it overnight. But if you did it for like, oh, five or six hours, these, these would be fine. Um, you, and I put it in a baggie, so I just have to squish it and scrunch it around. But if you leave it in the bowl, then, you know, I know people want to save baggies, so don't use a baggie just have to keep turning it every once in a while, every couple of hours. So that's how that looks, okay? The next thing we want to do, we're not going to go put that one on the grill. What we're going to do is we're going to go check out what's on the grill right now, okay? We're going to go get the chicken breasts that are out there. They should be done. Slower, slower. Nice and plump and juicy. And you know what? They just cook up really nice like this. And you know what? You're done with the marinade. If you want to baste them, whatever you want to do, that's fine. But uh, do me a favor and uh, throw the marinade away after. Never use it again. Never eat it raw because I have raw chicken in it. Look at this old. It's almost an antique. I keep telling you you don't need a million dollar kitchen to make a million dollar meal. Look at this old, old barbecue we have going here. And these guys are really nice. They're nice. They're done. Let that burn off and clean it off. Look at those. Nice and plump and juicy. See why I don't pound them? I want it to be plump and juicy. Okay, let's get back in here. Let's let them rest over here for a minute. Now, let's make the Caesar salad. Oh, keto. Don't need this anymore. All right. I think you're going to like this Caesar salad. It's not a creamy one. It's actually, I believe, the original recipe without the egg. I'm not going to show you to put the egg in it. I know a lot of you don't want to use the egg. You put it into water for about 40 seconds, and then you put it in. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I haven't gotten sick yet, so what the heck. We're going to start off with pure olive oil, okay? And this olive oil, maybe a quarter of a cup, not quite, not quite. Then we need lemon. So we'll take the other half of this very juicy lemon, and we'll squirt it in there, and we're going to try it. And then if we think it needs more lemon after this, we'll do that. Um, now, the next thing we need, of course, we need salt. Yep, good. And this is Romano cheese. My family always use Romano cheese. They're from Calabria. We, use, we love Romano cheese. It's very finely grated Romano cheese, but you can use Parmesan. Whatever you can get your hands on. And this is a half a cup. I'm not going to quite use it all yet. I'm going to test it and see if it needs more cheese later. Now here comes um, the uh, Worcestershire sauce. This is about a oh, teaspoon, not quite, a scant teaspoon, okay? Put this over here. Here's something, you don't have to use them, I happen to love them. This is a two ounce can of anchovy fillets in olive oil. Now I've drained half the can. 
I used the other half two days ago when I made the salad. I got myself a shop a knife. And I'm just going to finally slice these guys up here. Now that's a half of a two ounce can, so it's one ounce, okay, of anchovy fillets in olive oil, please. Okay, I'm just going to bring them over the top of the salad. And I'm going to add the croutons. Now, if you want to see how to make these croutons, I make them myself and I think it'll save you money because you make it from old bread. You do need to use unsalted butter, I mean salted butter, sorry, but um, I think you'll just like them. And, and they keep forever in the fridge in these baggies. So I put a few of those in. Now I'm going to just mix it up here from the bottom up. That's why I like them. I call them my claws of life. I love these to mix salads with. They're absolutely too groovy. Okay. Now, we've got everything in the Caesar salad except black pepper. So we're going to put a little black pepper in there. Good. As you see, I like pepper. <laughs> okay. So, let's give this a taste. See if it needs more lemon. That's what we're worried about. Mm, all right. Well, you know what? One more little squirt. I'm just going to do a little piece of this lemon here. And I'm just going to squirt it over the salad and all over my arm, too. But you know what? That's what you get on live TV. All right. So, let me show you how we're going to plate this up. i get rid of all this stuff. And, ooh. real pretty if you just cut it at an angle um, like this kind of like it like that okay All right. and you get a plate okay. and let's get this out of the way right over here plate up some of this beautiful Caesar salad right on this plate here you can add a few more croutons on top if you want. Okay. I'm going to give them a little shot of black pepper. And then you just kind of lay them across like that. Beautiful Caesar salad. Now here's something I like to do. You don't have to do it. I have this Parmesan uh, and it is not finely grated. It's just shaved Parmesan. And I just like to put a little bit over the top for effect. So take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful Caesar salad. You can serve that up to anybody with a nice crispy baguette and a nice glass of white wine or a cold beer. So there you go. Very simple Caesar salad. Delicious, I promise you. Don't need a million dollar kitchen or a million dollar grill to make a million dollar meal. See you later.